Hey there guys, Portal Master here, and I am finally back with another episode of my Skylander Spires Adventure replay, let's play, whatever you want to call it. We're calling it Re-Exploring the Skylands. I've come up with an official name for the Let's Play. Anyways, I'm back with another episode, episode four today. I know it's been a while, and today we're going to be tackling the Stormy Stronghold. So without further ado, let's get into it. And why don't you guys guess who's going to be first on the portal today? Because it is going to be the one, the only... The Stealth Elf. And I may actually have to reset Stealth Elf now that I'm, yep, I'm gonna have to reset Stealth Elf and take the keys out of my pocket so they don't jingle every time. All right, so let's reset Stealth Elf before we get into this. Yes, we do wanna reset this Skylander. She's silent, but deadly. All right, so today I have actually done my research and I have checked that the two Skylanders with elemental zones here okay, are air and life so assuming that the wiki wasn't wrong we're gonna be diving into that and hopefully I'm gonna be taking into consideration some of the guy your guys's feedback that you left me on the previous three videos I hopefully have fixed the echo that you guys were talking about and I'll shut up when cutscenes show up so that should hopefully fix a couple of your problems and if you have any more advice please do tell me down in the comments below so that I can help make this series even better. All right, let's get into today's Let's Play. This is going to take a while. To, oh, it's actually a faster load than I thought it would be, considering this is, you know, a Wii. I'll shut up now. This is impressive as me. Almost. Looks like the little dro dudes found the eternal air with some dingus, and now they're trying to harness its power. I guess. Well now, looky there. It's some kind of bridge. Of course, right now, it's just a big bunch of giant swirling chunky things stuck in the vortex of a killer tornado. But hey, all you gotta do is figure out how to rebuild it. Cake! Cake! All right. Let's slice and dice. I know that that's not Stealth Elf. I know that that's Chop Chop, but I don't really care. All right. And guess what, guys? I was also smart and went ahead and moved the Wii motion bar. So if I have to do any pointy, shooty sections, I am prepared. All right. Found our, score, our story scroll really early in the level. Hugo says, while everybody fears large, destructive tornadoes, smaller, friendlier ones are quite popular in Skylab. Mabu come from all over to throw unwanted items into the small tornadoes. Things like garbage, tax forms, and when possible, sheep. I really don't get this sheep slander. I don't get why the Mabu hate the sheep so much. I mean, I know they can't be trusted, but you know. Still, I think they take it a little too far sometimes. Alright, got this little chompy pod. We're gonna come in. Boom! You didn't expect that, did you? You thought I was over there. You know nothing, chompies. All right. Now there's treasure down on this island down here. Can I fall to it? I'm guessing I cannot. I'm guessing I have to go and get that when I go down there. All right. Avoid the little bouncy pods. I love the bouncy pods, though. Sometimes you just want to hit them just for the fun. Woo! 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 <laughs> All right. Now let's come over here. Bam! Stealth Elf is so fun to play as. All right, we took out the Spell Punk, took out the Dro. Quick work. All right, let's come up here and boom. You know, I didn't know which elemental zone was first, but I was kind of hoping it was life and it looks like I guessed correctly. So let's go. Skylanders of the life element are stronger in this zone. Thank you for the warm reception I got on those first uh, several episodes of the series. Um, I really, really appreciated uh, all the good feedback you guys gave, and I'm happy to be making more of this content. Um, I guess if you guys hadn't known, the reason that I posted three of those videos like in rapid succession, despite the fact they were supposed to be a week apart, um, actually, towards the beginning of November, I got COVID. So I um, had to, you know, post whatever I had available. And then the reason that no more of these episodes have come out is because that put me so far behind in schoolwork that I didn't really have time to record. It would have just, I, I, don't, I don't think it would have been very good if I had tried to record. It wouldn't have been fun. It wouldn't have been enjoyable. And um, I, I wanted to record when I felt like 
I was in a good place to record. And, and now I do. So I'm happy to be back for you guys, happy to be making good content. Um, and hopefully we'll get the channel back uh, in the full swing of things as if I never missed a beat. So let's see, we're coming back up here. This is actually a pretty big elemental zone. Um, surprisingly so, honestly. Like it's got like several different little ways it branches out. It's got a little treasure chest right here. And this isn't really even why we even came to this elemental zone. It was for a thing down there. All right, so we got all of that gold. And okay, now let's teleport back down and we'll push this block all the way over and cross the bridge to where we need to go. Alrighty, there we go. And I don't know why I really just like using Stealth Elf's B attack just when I'm not doing anything. I would say it's just fun. Alright, we got a Fez. In case you didn't know, Fezes are cool. Fezes are very cool. Thumbs up for you if you get that reference. Alright, let's head back into the main level. All right, back to the approach. We'll switch out Skylanders here in a minute. Uh, I, I think this is a shorter level. I'm not actually 100% sure. Um, I think this is the level where you gotta lower all the lightning pylons. I can't ever remember the level names, to be honest with you guys. All right, we took that out. Can we make it across? Oh, no, we couldn't. It's fine though, because we got some watermelon. All right, pop up, bop these things. And time to lower lightning pylon, numero uno. Throw in with some bilingual Spanish right there. With That's like the only Spanish that I actually know. All right, um, I'm feeling switching off right now, just since we're already at 500 gold for stealth belt. If the level goes on for longer, we'll switch back. But I want to play some lightning rod because I absolutely love this character. All right. Let's get going with lightning rod here. All right. Now we gotta take out this dro witch blade thingy. Witch blade? I don't know which blade. Alright, we're just gonna keep dodging her and taking the chompy pot out. Alright. Alright, we're gonna soak some damage here just so that I can oh, okay, well that was more damage than I wanted to soak. Alright. Time to just strafe backwards. Dang it! Stop targeting the stupid splody thing. All right. Boom, okay, there we go. Uh, let's backtrack for a second, just make sure I didn't miss anything, because I don't think I did. Oh, nope, I missed some stuff over here. Gotta get all the gold, all the gold, so that we can give Persephone all of them, all the gold, and get all the upgrades. But first, we need all the winged sapphires. We just need all of everything, let's be real here. Okay, nope, there's nothing back there. Could have fooled me. Thought there was something sneaky back there. All right, we got that. Time to lower lightning pylon number two with lightning rod. Ooh. All right, there we go. We got another dro witch blade here. A blade witch, I really can't remember what these things are called. I'm just gonna take these regular dro out with the lightning channel if I can get out of range of the witch. There we go. Okay. Oh. Whoa! She like knew where I was gonna be! You don't get to do that! This is a kid's game! Alright, switch sides and channel lightning. Alrighty. That's what we like to see. Cleaning up that dro really nicely. Make our way around the precarious little thing. Wait for the spikes. Those spikes are gonna go. Go to the next one. And come off to the side here. All right, okay, got the drow, the dro. I always want to call them drow because that's what everybody else calls them because like drow are actually a thing that are, are in Dungeons and Dragons and that's how they say it is drow instead of dro. So it's always bugged me that they said dro in this game. Also, I really am disappointed that there were not more dro Skylanders. Like, I can't remember if Fright Rider is technically a dro or not. But there should have been Dro Skylanders. It's a shame there weren't. Or weren't more, depending on whatever species Fright Rider was. But Fright Rider is just a cool character anyway. Like, I know that we're pretending that Skylanders Giants characters don't exist, but 
I'm literally only using Series 2 characters in this playthrough so that I don't interrupt me and my girlfriend's playthrough. So, you know, we'll, we'll have to just say that they do exist. Where am I going with this? I don't know where I'm going with this. Okay. I don't, I don't remember how to do this. Um, I guess I have to get to the end of this level and then bounce backwards, but I don't know what the bomb has to do with anything. Okay, so I think I hop up here. Now I just gotta bounce all the way across. All right, there we go. Press that pressure plate. Okay, that's right, that's right. So now we can drop down. We can pick the bomb up, we can turn around, and now we can take the quick way, which is this. And then I think I gotta hit this. What am I trying to blow up? There we go. I can't believe I got that off. I really thought I was gonna die right there. Or not die, but have to backtrack, which is honestly the same thing. Also, what is the point of this, of this jump pad? I guess if you don't wanna take the other jump pad up, I was just concerned there was something I missed. Looks like I didn't though. Okay, there we go. And we got the hat or whatever's gonna be in here. Ooh, a nice little bonnet. Not a bonnet. I don't know what I'm trying to say. Little, fan little fancy hat. That's what it's called. Let's put the fancy hat on lightning rod, because why not? Two armor and one speed. We can't be beat. This video is sponsored by Coca-Cola. It's not sponsored by Coke. I just happen to like Coke. Oh. Look what it made me do. Look what sipping on my Coke did. All right. Let's go back. Back, I say back. Okay, back to the battle net. Now we got this draw down here, we got a dispatch. Yeah, as much as I like Lightning Rod's energy channeling, it's really greater for, it's so much better for like melee characters or fighting melee enemies, I should say, than those ranged draw witch blades because you just, you can't get planted long enough to do anything um, unless you can attack from a range like this and then you can start hitting her. But then it just dissipates, so. Oh, there was a Chompy there. Oh, there's another Chompy there. Whoa, where'd those Chompies come from? All right, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have to take these draw down, the ranged ones like this. And then, now that he's stuck down there, Oh, well, that's fine too. He just yeeted himself off the cliff. He just was like, woo! Right off the edge. I mean, hey, I'm not complaining. All right, let's go. Okay, those spikes are gonna come out. Okay. What's in here? Chompies, obviously. This is a good time to use this. Oh, stop it. Chompy, no, no. Ah! Okay. I was like, this is too many chompies. Too many chompies for poor Lightning Rod. He can't handle this. All right, we got the last treasure chest of the level. Now we got to uncover this rubble. And okay, this is the legendary treasure I saw from up above. I knew there had to be another way to get down there. Ancient Carillon. All righty, 200 extra gold. And now we got the last of the lightning pylons. Oh, but not before these row come after us. Oh no, not four row. That's two on each side. Oh no. Anyway. I am a lightning god. You are nothing to me, petty dro. All right. So we just got lightning rod to level three and like a thousand gold. So I actually think I'm gonna throw stealth elf back on the portal just for now. I can't remember if this is the end of the level, if there's anything afterwards. I think we go down there, yeah. Yeah, we do go down there, I couldn't remember. All right, so we'll finish the level out with Stealth Bell. All the Wii, you gotta love the Wii remotes. I always forget like, <laughs> that you had to have like a tethered remote to your remote. Such a Nintendo thing, honestly. And then this random enemy. I think this is like one of the few enemies that only shows up once. Like, I don't think we ever see this thing ever again, as far as I know. All right, took him down. 
He's just this really random enemy they chose to include. Skylanders of the air element are stronger in the Well, and now Skylanders of the air element are stronger. Whoops. Well, no, no. Well, let's let's take a challenge. We'll we'll take a challenge. We won't play with the Skylanders that are strong in each elementary zone. Although, honestly, this is probably easier with Stealth Elf because of all of the chompies that I just had to fight right there. That would not have been as fun with Lightning Rod. Oh, I'm not going to be able to get you with Stealth Elf, am I? Alright, let's switch back out. <laughs> just for a moment. Ah, uh, poor level design, honestly. I don't know what they were thinking. Alright, there we go. And you can't get the gold. Wonderful. Alright, back to my girl Stealth Elf with the Fez on her head that's larger than her actual head. You know, Fezes in real life are like this tiny little hat that like neatly fits onto your head. Like Grunkle Stan from Gravity Falls, but you know, for Stealth Elf it looks like she's wearing a, a literal bucket on her head, like a cloth bucket. Alright, we gotta get that Warnado Soul Gem, but I forget how you were supposed to get it. I think you have to hit a pressure plate and then, like, backtrack or something. I mean, honestly, who doesn't just enjoy button spamming with Stealth Elf? There we go. Alright. We took down Brock, basically. Everybody knows that's Brock. Alright, this is what I was thinking. Yeah, you have to hit that pressure plate. Then you gotta backtrack. Oh, it's timed! I forgot it was timed! Oh no! This is a, this explains why all the little bouncy things are here. Go, Stealth Elf! Go! 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 We gotta get that Warnado Soul Gem! Go! 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 And we got it with five seconds to spare. So, not too bad. Uh, no, we do not want to preview Warnado. Honestly, timed button challenges is such a Spyro's Adventure thing. There's so many things in this game that just didn't show up in later games, and that just to me radiates, you know, the first game's energy is, is stuff like that. That and, like, the, the areas that you needed a water Skylander for, but, like, could only walk through it with a water Skylander or a Skylander that flew. So, okay, we got through all this stuff. I think we can be... Oh, no, we can't quite do it. I was really thinking we could do it, guys. We can't. Alrighty, keep on going. And we gotta fight this air spell punk with all these little dro witch blades, but that shouldn't even be a big deal. Because of this, you're nothing to me. You're nothing to me, petty spell punk. You mean nothing. You're dead now. Oh no. Not two more rocks. Oh, whoops. Did not mean to do that. I ran right into that, guys. Okay. Oh, whoops. All right, got to take that guy out. Okay. We're so close to leveling up. It's not quite going to happen. All right. I tricked him. Come on, come on, come on. Don't turn around. Thank you. And I still don't level up? Oh, okay. There's one. The only time I've ever wanted there to be more. Alright, I gotta take this wind to gen out. Alright, there we go. Took it out with the level up first. Come on, give me the eternal air source. I want the eternal air source. Gimme, gimme. Alright, I think that was everything. Finally. Maybe? Woo! We found the eternal air source. The first of the sources. And I think that we basically got everything. Yeah, we actually did everything except the time goal, which is pretty good for us, considering that I'm usually pretty bad at missing stuff like that. And, well, let's see, we did it in like 20 minutes, which honestly, well for done, me, I take forever. Master. Your retrieval of the eternal air source has summoned me back to these ruins. There is strong magic in this place, and by its power, the eternal sources know how to combine with the ancient machinery of this island to recreate the core of light. Behold. Woo! 
Go oh, chaos. They found the eternal air source. I can see they found the eternal air source. You fools! But look who's with them. Eon! But how can this be? <laughs> I blew him up! Kaboom! Splat! Done! But look at him! Well, at least he doesn't have his body. Right! Obviously somebody's helping him. But who? And what are they up to? Well, I'm no expert, as you know. Uh, but there must be another portal master somewhere. They're probably I'm right here. I'm the other portal master. What? We can't let that happen. Find the other eternal sources. I don't care where they are. Just get them! <laughs> the eternal air source has been integrated into the core. Excellent work. Oh, this is coming along very nicely indeed. But I'll need some time to figure out our next step. Why don't you go investigate the docks? There seem to be a real ruckus coming from over there. Oh, yep. I remember this. You got a... I think there's a lock goblin or something. All right. Let's go down here. Check out the docks. I always loved the little thing. The flames that hey, change color. You're going to eat yep. That's what I thought. We got to let out no, Gurgle Finn. I'm really salty and kind of high in cholesterol. If you are eating. I'm talking oh, sorry. It's a lock gremlin, not a lock goblin. Get I gotta get that right. Someone get the underwear. <laughs> <laughs> I actually had to sit here and listen to that monster make up recipes, and I was the main ingredient. <laughs> uh, this is just the worst. Um, little help, please. No, off-brand Gilgrunt. We shall not help you. See if you can trip the tumblers. How, like, how do you get sucked there? I've always wondered this. All right, now we got the hardest puzzle in the game right here. We gotta go boom, 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 boom. Man, just give me a PhD now for solving that one, honestly. Holy that was close. I came here looking for you, Skylander. Call me Dr. Portal Master. Hey there guys, Dr. Portal Master here. You wouldn't happen to have any sheep on you, would you, Mr. Fish? <laughs> Mr. Fish. No, my name. It's Gurglefin. I'm a gilman, not a fish. And where would I even keep a sheep anyway? I'm not wearing any pants. Oh, right. I, I, I see. I've been looking for you, Skylander. I come from a nearby island where trolls have taken over and enslaved the rest of my kind. Oh, that's right. That's Please what I was thinking. Got to do the troll, hmm. the troll Trolls. level. Very dangerous. Not like sheep, mind you, but Maybe still, I should play Boomer in the next episode. Them. They're obviously in a fine Honestly, I probably will play Boomer oh, in the next episode. Sorry. Watch it, Molbot. <laughs> All righty. So I think that this is pretty much going to wrap up today's episode because I think that we don't have anything more we need to do. We got to talk to Gurglefin, but we will save that for the next episode. Let's go ahead and do some upgrading. Um, I, some of you guys said you wanted to see it on camera. Some of you said you wanted it off camera. We're just going to go ahead and do it um, right now because why not? I got 500 gold for stealth elf. That's enough for something. And I got 1,000 gold for lightning rod. That's also enough for something. Let's pick this uh, little wing sapphire up. I see. I smell you have a winged sapphire. I smell you have a winged sapphire. That's not creepy at all, Persephone. Of gold. Lucky party. More winged sapphires in this happy place. Ten of their secret campings for you to find. Winged sapphires like to say hello and meet the fairies. The more that say this, the smaller gold number I need from Skylander for happy dancing. I've never understood why she needs those winged sapphires. Like, what, what about them gives a discount? I think it's Persephone just wanting winged sapphires, but not wanting to get them herself. Okay, so the only thing we can get is the straw poke square, it's straw poke square for whatever it's called. The scarecrow upgrade. Which honestly isn't even the worst. That's, it's a pretty decent little upgrade. Yeah, I kind of like that little upgrade. It's nice. It helps you uh, let them. It basically gives you something to help tank for stealth elf. All right, and now we'll put lightning rod on. Grab whatever upgrades we can for him. All right, what would I like to upgrade? 
Okay, Grand Lightning lasts longer, does increased damage. Lightning Bolt does increased damage. Honestly, let's take Thunderation, because I really like his lightning channeling abilities more so than the lightning bolt throwing abilities although that's normally the path i take is the the lightning channeling ability so maybe we'll take a different path i don't know and then i don't think we're going to be able to get anything else because yeah we're not going to be able to get the other thing but that's okay there we go i don't think there's any visual differences there might be some i don't i don't think there's much you know what while i'm at it let me go ahead while i'm here and let's do this little thing real quick because what we got to do, I think, is we need a magic Skylander to start with. So we're going to throw on Spyro. And we're going to get some extra gold here. All right, so Spyro is going to come here. He's going to go boom. All right. Then I'm going to throw on Slam Bam. You guys are getting sneak peeks as to who's going to be in the future episodes of the series. Because uh, I uh, went ahead and laid them all out for my recording session today. And then I'm going to need to grab a Tech Skylander from over here. So let me grab Trigger Happy. All right. And boom, boom, boom. But that's not who I want to get the gold. I want, let's say, honestly, we're going to put Spyro back on. Oh, no, it's going to make me put Trigger Happy on. Okay. We'll just let Trigger Happy get the gold. It isn't a big deal. All right. Good bit of gold for Trigger Happy right there. We'll use that coming up soon. So yeah. There we go. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. I can't remember the name of the next level. Um, I think it's the troll something. I don't, I don't really remember. But that's what we'll do next. And um, I hope to see you guys back here next week. Uh, we're actually going to be trying to stick to the real schedule this time. So expect these episodes every Wednesday. So one week from now, you should be seeing the next episode, which is going to be episode 5 in Re-Exploring the Skylands. Thank you guys so much for the support you've given me on the series so far. And I hope to make this a long time series on this channel. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like comment subscribe and I will see you guys next time thanks again for watching I just wanted to take some time to thank my generous patrons on patreon including APYT Skylanders Wosa Haley True Blue Dogemon Roska Jag Adrian and Angry Ted C